And President Biden has authorized another $200 million in weapons for Ukraine's defense. Here's ABC's Mary Alice Parks, who shares the breakdown of that aid. The U.S. is moving quickly to try to get more of these heavy-duty weapon systems into Ukraine. This latest announcement comes after the U.S. already sent more than $350 million in military hardware over the last few weeks. We're told this new package will include small arms, but also anti-armor, anti-aircraft systems. The Pentagon insisting that these sorts of weapons are having an impact. Now, it is noteworthy that there is still no mention of planes. Several members of Congress are still urging the White House to look for ways to get planes into Ukraine. The the White House so far saying that these other weapons can be effective, that they can get them in there faster, and that Russia might view the U.S. moving planes as escalatory. Now, part of the reason they've been able to get these other weapons to the front lines quickly is that they are mostly coming from U.S. stockpiles in Germany. And we expect this next week, President Biden will also sign that large spending bill from Congress that included more than $13 billion in aid for Ukraine. That also budgets for even more lethal aid like this. Mary Alice Parks, ABC News, The White House.